Hi guys, this is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. Today I'm sharing with you seven key accessories that every woman should have in your closet. This is something that we recommend to all of our clients when we do our styling work. And I hear over and over again, what do I need to buy? What should I replace? What do I have to have in my closet? Um, so you can always download our Ultimate Women's Wardrobe Checklist, which does have accessories on that as well that you should have in your wardrobe or in your closet. But these are the seven key pieces that we think are essential that every woman should own. The first would be a statement belt. And by that, this is a belt that you can wear not just to put on with jeans or to throw over top of a dress something in that realm, but really thinking about statement belts as something, a bold piece that's really eye-capturing that you can wear with a coat, you can wear over a, um, like a tunic or a longer top, that you can pair that with a dress or put that with um, a belt, uh, pants, and a blouse to really be eye-capturing and truly make a statement. So for example, this is a um, snakeskin belt and what I like about it is that it's got a large buckle there, but it's consistent across the board in terms of the snakeskin styling and color. So, but this really looks eye-capturing when you pair something of this style with um, either other neutrals or you can pair it with a bolder color underneath and it really draws your eye. Great to wear when you have a dress or if you want to cinch your waist around something. I use this piece a lot with jackets and coats in winter time to really cinch in and create that smaller waist no matter what size you have. But having a statement belt really works wonders to draw the eye and really capture it in your outfit no matter what you might be wearing. Great also to pair that with a simple t-shirt and jeans or a casual top and jeans truly takes your look to another level. The next thing we always recommend is having a bold necklace. And so for this, you want to have a bold necklace because it's something you can pair easily with simple tops and sweaters or blouses. Um, but it really also dresses up a monochromatic outfit and can really change what you have on. So for example, this is um, a gold statement necklace and it looks fabulous paired with any of the jewel tone colors so the deep emerald greens and um, the fuchsias and the bold purples and those hues it looks wonderful with that it also can be worn with grays and blacks and navies and other neutrals which really stands out or if you have your statement necklace it's really an easy piece that you can wear all one color tone so a monotone outfit or just simple casual pieces, great to throw on with a blouse. You can simply add your winter coat or a blazer, bomber jacket over top of it, and that piece will really stand out and make a difference, even with the basic simple white tee. And the next thing that we recommend is having a cocktail ring. So this is a piece that you can use. I'm gonna show an example and we'll zoom in and show you these later, all of our lovely accessories. But this is a triple diamond ring that I wear this not just for dressy events, for example, but I also throw this on casually just with a t-shirt and hoop earrings or you know simple diamond drops or something. And it really dresses up an outfit and it draws your eye to your hands, which I move around a lot. Um, but it's really a great piece that you can throw on with absolutely anything with a sweater and jeans or a t-shirt or if you're going out to the beach for the day or you're going to run around and have brunch with friends or be out shopping about. It's a great piece to throw on to instantly dress up without having to wear heavy jewelry or heavier pieces but really instantly elevates your look and it draws your hands, your eyes down through your hands downward and back up again. So always highly recommend that. Um, the next thing is that adding an elegant watch. So those can be of all different types and it doesn't have to be an elegant watch, meaning something that is diamond encrusted and you only wear when you're wearing a ball gown or to really super elegant events. 
But again, even having basic pieces, so for example, this is a black watch that I have that I really like because it has a gold face and it has crystals and diamonds all around the outer edge of that, which instantly kind of dresses up that style. Um, or, for example, you can do this, which I wear. Actually, I wear both these pieces more in a casual sense than for a dressy event. But this has crystals all over different sizes. Um, it's great. It's very eye-capturing when it puts it on your wrist. Um, but really great also to add maybe a rose gold watch, which is really popular now, or something that's simple but elegant. Um, and that easily, again, great to wear just with casual things. You can throw on like a Henley t-shirt or a casual cotton tee, or maybe you have on workout loungewear pieces. Um, but great to add, add that elegant watch, which kind of looks like a jewelry piece. Um, and of course, it's always great if it actually works and tells time. Keeps you on track with your time as well. The next thing is our fourth um, accessory that you should have is a print scarf. So a reason why you have a print scarf is it really can be versatile and worn depending on the length of the scarf in many different ways. So you could pull your hair up into a ponytail and then wrap it around your ponytail and that kind of dresses it up giving your pony a whole new look and really adds a little bit of flair to your hair. And I'll show you a print scarf so you could tie that around again for your hair. Really easy, of course, you can drape a print scarf, you know, if you have on a simple t-shirt, simple top, a sweater, anything at all, great to just drape around your neck. Of course, you can drape it around your shoulders and tie scarves in many multiple different ways. Um, but also you can use a print scarf as a bracelet, which we do often, is looping that around. You can tie that. Um, and cinch that, again, depending on the length of your scarf, but you can tie that and use that um, as a jewelry piece also. And then you can also use that as a belt. So a great idea to kind of put around your waist, again, depending on the length, and then you can tie it through and kind of cinch it there. Um, and I'll stand up so you can see a little better view that you can kind of cinch it around the waist. Again, you can leave it draped, you can tie it all the way through. Really has some of that versatility when you have that print scarf. Um, and then it's also really nice if you have a tote bag or a satchel or some kind of purse with a handle that you can always take your scarf off if you have it. Or you can simply dress up a bag by draping that around the handle and then tying it. And that's really a great way to kind of elevate your purse so it looks a little bit different from everybody else's handbag that they have. Okay, the next thing that we recommend is having what used to be known as sort of like an evening bag or I call it sort of your night on the town bag. And this is having one great purse that you have in your collection that you can take with you out to any kind of event that you're going to. That could be if you're going out for dinner or drinks or if you're going to something a little bit dressier, um, for example. So I'll show you this is actually a new bag that I own. Um, and what I love about this is sort of that metallic tone that it has. And then it also has a little easy handle and the overall bag is small. So the handle makes it really easy to carry the bag with you. And it's not a big piece, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. It doesn't knock into people if I set it on my bar stool or chair, which I do, I never put my bag on the floor. Um, but it's easy to kind of set it down beside you or you know, if you're at a table and you need to put it on the tabletop, you can do that. But having an easy handbag, something for the evening or a night in the town, something you can grab that will take you to any kind of event. So always think about what is the most universal piece that you could take this and wear it, you know, simply with a t-shirt and a sweater and jeans or leggings and boots and you're heading out for a more casual day to you're getting really dressed up for a night in the town or you're going to the theater or some kind of elegant event or a gala, ball, whatever it may be. You want some kind of elegant bag that you can use for all these different purposes that suits you really well. So think about what kind of neutral piece can you have that you'll keep in your closet or your wardrobe. And the last thing would be to have earrings. 
And of course, when I say earrings, most women, if you have pierced ears, have earrings. But what I'm talking about is having that one kind of go-to simple pair that you can wear with any outfit, throw it on, and it easily goes with everything. So for example, I have these, which I love, just a simple, easy drop earring. Has a gold um, drop post, and then it comes down with a really large um, diamond or crystal on the bottom. These are actually Swarovski crystal earrings. And what I like about these is that I can, again, throw it on if I'm going out and I'm walking around town, going for a walk, or I'm exercising, doing something in that realm, you can throw those earrings on. You can put it on with a simple t-shirt and jeans or something more casual, a sweater, and throw on your earrings and it dresses that up. But again, it also can be a pair of earrings that you can then put on with a dress or you're going out for a night in the town, whatever that may be. So think about having one pair of earrings, it's not to say that's all you need, but a great pair of earrings that you have in your wardrobe that could be, you know, if you're traveling or you're going somewhere that you could wear that with any type of outfit, multiple types of outfits to really give you that universality of that piece. So you can wear it in many different ways to kind of give you a whole new look with your wardrobe. So. These would be the seven different accessories that we recommend that every woman has in your closet. And we wanna hear from you. What are the essentials of the things that you have in your wardrobe that you can't live without? Those pieces that you might wear every day or they're your favorites, your grab and goes that you're using really often. So share that with us. You can put that in the comments below. Or if you want to, you can do share on social media by using the hashtag Divine Style. And we'd love to feature some of your images of here's how you're accessorizing your looks and what you have in your closet to help your style stand out and make a statement. Don't forget to download our Ultimate Women's Wardrobe Essentials Checklist, which has our accessories on there. And then also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get all of our latest fashion videos covering the trends that are happening in fashion, how to wear things, what to style, um, and then also client makeovers and all different kinds of features that we'll have upcoming in both men's and women's fashion. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.